Hello my shinies, my name is Ivanico47, welcome back to some more Gloomhaven. So I believe last time I wanted to do this scenario, yes. And yeah, basically we're going to be helping a friendly night trout, uh, the, the one that we retired in the past. And we managed to in encounter this night shroud in a random encounter city city encounter if i'm not mistaken i basically got it off camera while i was farming and grinding so it popped up i managed to succeed and this side quest is unlocked okay so we'll be facing against bandits Cultist and giant fighters. It shouldn't be too difficult. You follow the night shroud through the dark streets of Gloomhaven until he stops in an alley facing a rundown office building in the old docks. I hope you weren't expecting anything grandiose, he says. The Sin Ra like to keep a low profile, which is why most people don't even know they exist. But this, my friends, is their heart, and I intend to stab at it until it stops beating. I will stick to the rooftops. Eliminating the lookouts and making sure no one goes in or out of the place. Once I give you the signal, your job is to rush in and kill everything that moves. Damn. Brutal, but effective. I like it. I like it. Yes. Before you can ask what the signal is, the night shroud has vanished. You spend a couple of minutes in confusion until a familiar black dagger whistles through the air and yeah. impales the ground at your feet. Taking that as the signal, you draw your weapons and charge in. Charge in? Sneakily. <laughs> well, except for Tina, who just bling 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 <laughs> all the way from the front door, <laughs> all the way inside. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. We'll do. We'll do, game. We'll do. Yes, because especially the board game version. Um, this this in uh, usually one scenario can can take up to three hours, and could be four hours if you count. Uh, the amount of time setting up and putting it back in the box so yeah three hours of playing boom even you really got to remember to stay hydrated oh dear okay well this isn't too bad the traps are annoying seven damage trap is it's not too bad one two three four oh this is beautiful I can actually do this. Uh, I can do something like this. Smoke bomb and... Spring trap? Yeah, I can actually do that. So, scoundrel can go there. So, uh, nice shot can go there. Now I'm going to be doing this. As well as this. Alright. Now I need somebody. Preferably... speed with this one and then she can do this no something else with oh, this yeah. so some of speed generate Skip the 
the bottom ability to this arm. Now, this is what's interesting. Since she is there, I can do pull and spring the trap. So now he, this thing is range four. Right? One, two, three, four. Yes. So I'm going to push this one here into this trap, taking 14 damage, killing her. Then I can spring the trap. Range three. Huh? Too far. I don't know if this counted as a ward. I mean, it is, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, I suppose I can just waste. Waste my top card. Fine. I'll just use Spring the Trap. Why not? He can do this. 1, 2. Jump. Lurking Ruin, yeah, Lurking Ruin, Spirit of the Night, yeah, yeah, this is good, okay, let's try, ah, oh, Immobilize, oh, you're so annoying, but luckily, I don't need to move, skip move, skip ability, yes, oh, 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 I need to move to generate the darkness, don't I? Okay, well, I don't, I didn't, I didn't know that. Okay, in that case, yeah. Yeah, just like the, you know, generate, uh, generate element with the top card. If it says that you're supposed to attack something to generate an element, then you have to attack. Okay, so let's try this again. Song of Speed and this thing. Right, she can go there again. She can go lurking ruin and spirit of the dead. Yes. Okay. All right, let's try this again. Characters who are not invisible doesn't get shot. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise they're going to get shot and immobilized. I mean, I suppose it's fine. Like uh, both scoundrel and soothsinger is definitely going to get. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to do this. Let's go invisible. Assassinate an archer. I'm going to kill this one instead. Alright, syndicate hideout. All we, all we have to do is just kill all enemies in all moves. It's quite easy. Okay, let's actually not generate an element just yet. Scoundrel didn't actually get shot and immobilized. This is good. In that case, I may want to probably visage or long card like this. One, two, three, four, five. Because of Song of Speed. Yes. Okay. Um, she cannot move. So. She can just 
just wasted her time playing her songs. Already, we get a natural. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. I meant a critical hit. Good. Let's end our turn. I'm actually going to be. Oh, I forgot to bring the add-on in. Yeah, that was my bad. Of course. Why did I do this? Oh, brain. Well, again, I apologize. I, I really don't like safe scummy. It is such a scummy tactic. It's, I, I feel dirty doing this. I feel like I'm cheating. But uh, no choice. Because I'm being a dum-dum. And I'm still allowed to, I guess, to cheat. Angel of death, prepare for the kill. Yep. All I need to do. You know what? J in, just in case so that I don't forget again. Maybe this right away. Just going to move all the way here. Firm and still going to attack this thing. Or should I say attack her? <laughs> then I'm going to generate any element I want. Let's go with him. Now I can choose to kill her. Or I can just open her. Uh, you know what? Let's do it. Black Arrow, using the Ring of Haste is actually a, a, uh, a more clever solution. Uh, so, yeah, and this is also a good thing for me, going here, opening the door, because now these people, or uh, the enemies, who doesn't have jump are going to activate the trap. Just 
to you swallowed by fear the next time. Jumping. Oh dear. It actually reached her. Now I'm actually perfectly okay with this. Because now that all of them are, you know, near getting near our but it oh man i want to play this what am i doing i'm so dumb anyways wh what i was trying to say is now i can do burning not burning booming proclamation with mobilizing measure over there disarming a lot of enemies i really need to This one is not going to be um, this arm, right? But I guess we can take one hit from the snake, and I mean, it's just going to poison us. It's fine. Uh, but the thing is, I I really want to jump again to kill these elite ones because they are annoying. So. the number of enemies not like this uh, actually no I don't need to push that one I will push this one however to kill that one. Oh, wrong target oh dear oh, my God. well it's fine it's not the end of the world disorienting dirge okay uh, need to drink a potion Bringing back melody and harmony, so I can play that along with this orienting dirge in the next turn. Yep, all good. But now she can't actually attack anything. Ah. Uh, oh well. Slip attack. And I really need to bring back some. Let's actually just drink one potion. Just bring back long con. 
just to be safe. Because we have three cards, right? So I'm bringing back one card. So two more turns before I long rest or something. It attacks Scoundrel twice. Okay, so... Unseen Dread swallowed by fear. Oh, immobilized, really. Well, that's fine. I'm going to... Well, then, in that case... <laughs> yeah, in Angel of Death. Um, Smoke and Angel of Death. No, I, no, I don't need to... Um, sm yeah, like this. Because now everything is going to get this on. I forgot. Yeah, this is good. Wow, with this, she might actually kill everything. Because I'll be using my rocket boots to go here. Skip movement, poison everything around her. Now I'm going to attack, attack everything around her. With advantage. Let's go. Ah. Alright, that's fine. Bam! Big damage. Invisible. Ooh. Ignoring the, cr the critical fail into the crit. Into the critical. Yeah, that's it. She just killed f three enemies in one turn. Pretty good. Now, unfortunately, I cannot kill this thing. But it's fine. Because we are still going to kill this pesky with the uh, the nitro. Okay. Well, I think she's just going to end her turn. We are going to consume two elements to kill this. We are immobilized. But we still generate two elements. No, we didn't. Oh well. Because we didn't move, so we didn't generate any elements. Oh well. Grim sustenance, angel of death. Yep. Uh huh. Paints and burning oil. These two. Okay. Yep, it is quite slow. Which is good. I'm still just going to... I'm actually going to open the door. Yes, this is fine. Wow, summon giant viper. Alright. <laughs> that might actually be a bad idea after all. It's not the end of the world. I was thinking of letting the enemies come forwards, you know. Long rest or something. But since, since you know, since I opened the door, revealing more enemies that I couldn't really handle, so. Followed by fear as well as lurking ruin. Because I need to move, go invisible, and then kill something. I'll save the, this minor stamina potion to bring back the swallowed by fear again the next time. Or actually, I don't really need that. There's only one. Well, actually, summon elite giant viper. Yeah, so I just screwed myself over. But it's fine. She is in trouble. Gosh, are you kidding? Aha, the curse. Move forward, move forward. That is quite terrible. Uh, uh, oh no. 
Okay, I got an idea actually. She is going to move like that. Or oh, actually here actually. Yes, actually, yeah, that is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do this, skip movement, I'm going to stun this thing, right, and then I can just go, poof poof, bye bye, with this, <laughs> and then, I'm going to drink, bringing back, this orienting dirge, and provoke terror, then, play R2, So I'm just going to... Wait, she's doing burning oil. Okay. Oh, I can do this. Uh, okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. Yes, this is good. Excellent. Skip movement. Kill this thing. And shoot. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And we have the volatile bomb as well. Good. Okay, in that case... We are already attacking with... No, we're not attacking with advantage. In that case, I'll be using this. I'm gonna use the volatile bomb in order to disarm this thing. Yeah, let's, let's just go with that. Do I want to use this thing though? Nah. Invisible. <laughs> Bless. actually want to consume this. One, two, three, four, five. This is a three damage trap created by the archer. So this is fine. Long curve and flurry of blades. There we go. Okay, easy. So now lurking ruin swallowed by fear. Long con flurry of blades, disorienting dirge, and captivating performance. Okay, good. Summons a giant elite viper again. How annoying are you? Very annoying. <laughs> uh, let's see. Do I want to attack this or just kill these two? Those two are actually wounded and already disarmed. I'll just go here. Yep, confirm. Then just do this. Should I actually do this? You know what? I would. I'll just use the mage. <laughs> Two HP. Oof, wow. Candidate for my pain's end. Now she might have to long rest, risk of getting hit by all those enemies. And I will take the risk, because we have the Soothsinger. Okay, time to bless, should I say, curse the enemies and bless our allies. Now do I actually You know what I actually made a mistake Because I thought That the provoke terror Is like It's buggy or something So 
yeah, I'm just going to take the risk actually and just end. Now, for the scoundrel, we are actually going to take damage from that trap. Visible. Then we are going to assassinate the cult. Then we are going to consume a potion. Going to be doing something like this. So, uh, uh, generating darkness as well. Now, I'm going to assassinate the archer and then hopefully, Night Shroud can attack and hit somebody. Like this guy. Yeah, for sure. I'm going to jump here, kill this, kill her, and then. Hopefully, Lurking Ruin Top will hit him. Long rest. Long rest. Ooh, Immobilize. Oh, that is terrible. Okay. So. Huh. Okay, actually, you know what? These archers are really, really annoying this time. So let's actually try and attack this one first. Plus one. Yes. Perfect. Bandit guard are annoying, but this one is going to die. So now I'm actually going to take the chest and consume the dark in order to assassinate the archer. That means all of my allies will not be immobilized. Or should I say, at least one of my allies will not be immobilized. Okay, um, generate the dark just because I can. Feel himself. There we go, trap. Wow, that is so. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I called it in the, in the previous episode. Yeah, luckily, we'll be um, long resting. So we will be removing both wound and poison, but we won't get healed. Springer Trap is supposedly good in this scenario, but I'm just going to get rid of it. Then I'm going to consume a super heal potion. Then ends her turn, and then we are going to burn the voice. And yeah, that's it. Long rest. Let's actually waste a card. We can do hidden daggers and attack, but I mean this is this is all right. Open wound, hidden daggers. Uh, we don't want to open that door just yet. I really do want that chest. So, uh, okay, what if she d do something like this? How long? Let's count actually. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That is enough with mobilizing measure and boots of dashing. So yeah, I'm actually just going to be doing these two. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's try and kill this thing. Yeah, <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> Unless I roll a critical fail. Nope. Wow. Death by scream. How about that? Well, there is thunder damage in DD, which is basically a very loud boom sound. There we go. <sighs> that is so annoying. Wow. Wow, game. Well, alright. It's a very long jump. Okay. Well, not jump, sorry. Just a very long uh, travel. Very 
long movement. Okay, um, black arrow can go. <sighs> Does she have a potion? She needs to drink a potion. Okay, I. He can do. With unseen dread, with boots is nine total movement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I. Whoa, there's two more rooms. Wow. Okay, I think I know what to do with him. I'll just make him extra slow with something like oh man, lurking ruin. Mm, no, actually, lurking ruin. Not lurking ruin. Smoke step and grim sustenance like this. She can open the door with smoke bomb and visage. Yes, let's try. Uh, hold on. I need to use smoke bomb first. Okay, let's see what's in right here. Okay. Jump three. One, two, three. One, two. Two, three. Okay, I'm actually going to move here. Should I actually poison the the elite? No, I don't. Because um, the giant viper is at risk of getting assassinated by my night shroud, so I don't think I need to do anything. I think I'll just skip. I could poison, but I don't want to. Because if I stand here, all these enemies are at risk of getting long con by her. So, stability and and. these enemies are going to get massive damage. Oh, I already used hidden daggers. This is kind of bad, but it's fine. I'm just going to attack some, all of them, and then use Paint's end to finish off an enemy that's not outright killed. So, this is actually a bad situation. I'm going to Good. 
Will we kill the Viper Elite? Yes. Yes, we will. Bless us. 24 damage. Wow. <laughs> and I don't even need to use Pain's End. If I do this with Rocket Boots. Oh, uh, the treasure chest is in that last room. Okay, so. I think I'll just. Just skip that. Uh, where is a good place to skip that? Flurry of blades and burning oil next turn. Okay, in that case, uh, the bandit guard is about to get assassinated by the scound by the night shroud. One two. One two. One two. Here is safe. Okay. Just move here then. Alright, good. I don't even need to use my rocket boots. So I'll just fly over here. Skip movement. Generate darkness. Then consume both darkness. I still kill that bandit guard and that's it. Giant Viper cannot reach either of us. It's only moving for two. For Katera. Okay, now I can do Spirit Woman. She can do this at least. I don't want to open the door just yet because if it turns out that there is a cultist here then they might actually summon skeletons or you know vipers which ultimately is going to make this scenario a bit more difficult and I'm actually going to skip attacking this thing because I don't want to expend any of her potentially good roles. And the uh, Night Shroud is going to kill this thing. this elite. What is it doing? It's just attacking and cursing. Good. Now, do I actually want to use Angel of Death to kill both Vipers? I don't think so. Yes, both of them cannot even reach Scout. Okay, so I'm just going to Confirm. I'm not going to use this and kill both of them. I'm just going to attack and curse. Generate darkness. Good. Now he is just going to yeah, just stay there. so far. Skip attack and... 
Oh wait, I forgot. I shouldn't have had any. I should have consumed my mana potion. Stamina potion. Ah, it's alright. Uh, Pains and... That's actually good. Visage can go. Okay. Flurry of Blades and Burning Oil. This is better. Now I can just shoot four of them. Four of them. Right? With the dynamite and disarming. As well as wounding them. On death. Okay. Let's use our boots. I'm going to go here. Skip movement. Confirm. And then kaboom, kaboom. Why did that happen? Hmm, maybe because on death explodes, but that's the viper, not this thing. Uh, or I'm not exactly sure why that happened. But oh well. generate darkness can remove equipment for us so what I'm thinking is I want him to kill the cultist first unseen dread and followed by fear so kill and then grab the chest which you can do whatever Probably a long time ago, she can always measure and do the population. Right, now, I believe this on death means that after it moves, you know, after the cultist elite uh, does his turn, it's like he's casting a spell or something, and if it dies. Uh, it is going to explode AOE dealing 5 damage minimum well not minimum um, before uh, attack modifiers I mean. okay so I'm just going to attack with advantage to this thing. times 2 killing it and as you see there he did not actually explode it as I mentioned so then I am just going to not do anything I'm not even going to take the gold here. I'm just going to use the bottom. Just like that. Do I have Ring of Haste? No. Oh, I should have. Oh, oh well. I should have kept the Ring of Haste, I guess. So then I can loot all of these. Okay, I don't need to kill anything. I'll just jump here. Then. Right, let's see what we get. Hopefully, it's not a trap this time. Orb of Twilight. Ooh. Sounds sounds useful. Okay, any gold pile that's eight has eight gold or something. Huh? Apparently not. Four four everything four gold. Oh well. Then I'll just take this one right here. Okay, cool. You look around at the blood-soaked floors of the Assassin's Den, coming to grips with the carnage you caused. A job well done, the Night Shroud says, silently emerging from the shadows. I wasn't sure you had it in you, but this is true Assassin's work. 
Every last one of the Syndicate met their end tonight. They thought to hunt us, but we were hunting them. He holds out a bag of gold to you. It is only right that I share part of my commission with you. I was hired by a rival guild in the capital to remove the Sinra. It was never my intention to involve you. But when you mouthed off to that guard, well, I have never been one to pass up an opportunity. You take the pouch in stunned silence. I hope we don't meet again, the Night Shroud says as he walks away. You never know what side of the contract you may end up on. Nice. Yeah. Very easy. Well, again, it's it, the uh, the scenario can be potentially deadly and difficult. But you know what? Actually, it's it's a pretty relatively easy scenario, even if you use other characters. It's it's not too difficult. Uh, you know, uh, luck may screw you over, but it's still relatively easy scenario. Fifty collective gold. Nice. And you know what? Oh, nice. Follow the scenario investigation to conclude. Yeah, so she's not retired just yet. We still have two more of that person of gold before uh, she retires. But yeah. Uh, so yeah. Um, again, coming back to what I was saying. Uh, that that scenario could have gone better. Like I could have made uh, better decisions, but. But it's still easy anyways. Okay. Yeah, okay, you can pause the video if you want to read all this because I'm just going to skip. Investigation. Okay. That is part of her personal goal. So we're just going to give all of the gold to Tina because Yeah. <laughs> this is a lot of gold. And she will be needing it. City encounter. Do your best to stop the fighting to get reputation. Okay, well, I was. I was going to say that, you know, I was going to conclude this video, but then we actually get 50 gold. So let's actually check what other cards I can enchant. Captivating performance. Oh, this is really good. The bottom. We don't need this. This orienting dirge is already too good. Mobilizing measure. Okay, let's see the the cards that we spam a lot. Now, this one provoke terror. I can do this area, but it's we don't usually we don't use it too often. This one is even better. Like, I can add wound plus stun, which is crazy. I can also add target, but usually we just we just use this top line. This one's also good. Okay, uh, all I can say is I have to stop using this one, the top card, because you know, she keeps uh, burning her cards too much. I don't want that. Uh, I mean, this is incredible. I'm not going to lie. Like if I do this and then add plus target. Well, it's sort of. <laughs> I can only enchant one more time because it's crazy expensive. Above all else, I actually need the movement. You know, I have either from jump or just straight up plus one movement. Oh, wow. Move three disarm, and then I can generate <laughs> two elephants. <laughs> wow. Uh, it is ideal, I'm not going to lie. You know what, let's do it. Like, why not, right? There we go. And I can still enchant one more time. Okay, um... I can plus move. Generate any of it. Huh. 
Yeah, that's actually a good idea. I'm just going to save my money. Oh, I can sell this because I don't need it. Right, yeah. Okay, selling that. And then going back to the enchantress. I, uh, where is it? UI is annoying. Uh, provoke terror area. Or this thing. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here. Now, as much as I want to add target, yeah, not only that we don't have enough money, but I think the plus one area is definitely going to be beneficial. Because sometimes uh, there's like an enemy over here, and then there's an enemy over here, right? And we just want to stun two of these. And now we can. Awesome. Yeah, nice. Alright then, let's check what we're going to do next episode. Deep Ruins or Investigation. Oh my gosh. City Archer, City Guard, City Guard Elite. Vault of Secrets. Hmm. You know what, this, this actually might be a good idea for me to introduce all of you to the city guard enemies. So before we do the Vault of Secrets, let's actually try and complete her personal goals and go here into the investigation scenario. And then we can see these enemies, the city archer, city guard, and city guard elite, along with the, the guard hounds. Okay, cool. So yeah, this episode has gone long enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, this episode. So we are going to be doing this scenario next time. And I hope you look forward to it. So please like and subscribe if you uh, like and subscribe if you liked. And it helps me out a lot. And I guess I'll be seeing you in the next episode. And with that said, stay shiny my friends. Have a good day. Bye bye.